In example number three, we want to find the general deriv or antiderivative of the following function. So they give us a function, f of x, and they say that it's equal to x to the fourth plus six. What we need to find is a function, we'll call it g of x, such that when we differentiate g with respect to x, we get out f of x, this guy up here. So again, we'll look at the terms each individually. So let's look at this first one here. This guy, I want it to be a fifth power. So let's say I just let it be x to the fifth. When we differentiate that with respect to x, we get 5x to the fourth, five times what we want here. So let's just multiply both sides by one fifth. Then this side becomes x to the fourth, which is what we want. And this side, we'll reverse the process here. We can take this and we can put it in. So this will be d dx of x to the fifth over five. And now we have this guy right here. So g of x will be equal to x to the fifth over five plus, now we gotta deal with this guy right here. So what we want is, ddx of what, what function gives me 6? Well, that's easy. That's 6x. Now, this is just one of the derivatives. There's a whole family, excuse me, one of the antiderivatives. There's a whole family of them, so we'll say plus c at the end to represent the whole family. So, in general, g of x, the antiderivative of f, is equal to x to the fifth over 5 plus 6x plus a constant.